Project Tutorial 12 How to make sunproof proximity sensor for automatic sanitizer dispenser. You are watching Tronics Technical Project with Shushil Yadav. Okay, beginning our project. So, here, what is the basic concept? What is the basic principle behind uh, our this project? Uh, so, I will tell you the basic principle behind this project. First of all, before that, uh, I will tell you that uh, automatic hand sanitizing machine in recent uh, in recent time, we can say that there are a lots of demand of making uh, automatic hand sanitizer machine, and for that, a lots of people, a lots of people are using ultrasonic sensors because this is very handy and easy to easy to make so in market there is a very lack of ultrasonic sensor due to a very increased demand so for that lots of people lots of people who wanted to make this system by themselves can't able to make it so for that they are wanted to make an alternative proximity sensor but in market the alternative system the which is available is that simple IR sensor which will not work in sunlight so how can we make an alternative for ultrasonic sensor uh, which will work in the direct sunlight so here I am in this tutorial I will tell you I will teach you how to make an 100% sunproof sensor proximity sensor with IR system so for that I will tell you the basic principle behind it how can we achieve a system which will not be affected by sunlight so for that just just think about that we have a remote an IR remote and uh, let's take an obstacle this wall here is an obstacle and we will take our sensor this is our sensor which we call as TSOP TSOP IR remotes send signals in front of sunlight sun, uh, we are testing it in sunlight okay ir signals uh, ir remotes will send ir 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 transmitted uh, datas in the form of binary pulses binary codes these codes just strike by any obstacle and strike backs to our sensor what we have to do here we have to just program our sensor to read that code okay we have to read what what code what binary code this transmitter ir remote is sending and we have to program our arduino to read that code if we will do that then any other interference by sun and any other devices will not affect our system and our system will work perfectly in instant daylight sunlight so let's begin our project let's see how to make this kit so for that we are gathering all the components which we are we will require for this project first of all we are taking a 24 volt SMPS 1.5 ampere after that just 220 volt supply 705 voltage regulator we will use an triple 5 IC I will tell you in the further let's move on I am using here at mega 3 to 8 IC you can also use Arduino board here no problem just because Arduino boards are very costly Arduino boards are very costly in comparison to this at mega 3 to 8 that's that's why I'm using an at mega 3 to 8 IC okay after that just uh, we, we have to use a 16 megahertz crystal oscillator and 22 picofarad capacitors 103 picofarad capacitor and diode IN4007 and another capacitor 10 microfarad 63 volt 2 10 kilo ohm resistors 1 103 picofarad capacitor 1 transistor BC547 this is in transistor BC547 okay 1k resistor 
this is a 3.3 volt voltage regulator which is uh, which is uh, which name is AS triple one seven I will tell you uh, in further uh, why we have why we are using this triple triple one seven now the main or we can say that one of fifty percent of our component is this section what is this section this IC is inside of that remote which I have shown you in the beginning of my project the remote which I uh, I am using here the which, uh, the remote which I have shown you in the beginning of this project this kit is from inside that remote okay so you, know, you can purchase that remote from anywhere it's an mp3 remote a very small and handy remote you can you just have to put it out the kit from that remote and how how you have to connect it with our microcontroller i will tell you okay moving on there are the two points here the positive and negative section you just have to remember which point is the upper portion is positive and neg uh, the lower portion is negative i remote okay and we are using a mosfet here irf 540 because uh, we are not using relay here because relay is a mechanical device and will not work for very long time so for very long time we are using mosfet i irf 540 in the beginning i have used two 7805 ic's because uh, our system uh, contains a uh, lots of components here so only a single 7805 can't able to provide sufficient power to all the components so that's why we are using two 7805s if you want an alternative for that you can use a single lm2596 buck converter so that it can it can easily provide sufficient power to all the components okay and if you want to go for a cheap uh, component so you can buy two 7805 okay gds ground drain and source of our mosfet in our mosfet we use 33 kilo ohm 33 kilo ohm register in ground and source okay and this is a 5k variable port potentiometer which is used to send uh, which is used to uh, for a range control the range of our ir system okay moving further just gathering all the components this is our solenoid valve this is our T shop and IR transmitter. Okay, IR transmitter. You can see that IR LED transmitter LED. Okay, moving on. We need a bottle, one liter, two liter, five liter. Uh, you can use anything. You can use any liter, uh, any capacity of a bottle. Just connect a pipe in the downside and other to the outlet side. Okay. So just now beginning the connection, connect the supply to the mains and after that connect the negative negative wire to the middle of 7805 and positive wire to the first pin of 7805. Do it likewise in the first 7805 but instead we have used a diode here to protect our system from reverse polarity. What is the reverse polarity if we will connect positive negative at the or negative or positive so it will not burn our system it will protect our system so for protection purpose we are using this diode 1 and 4007 this mark portion is negative or we can call we can call that at cathode and this without any mark section we called anode okay moving further LEDs we are using LEDs just okay so just beginning our project connect connecting the connections okay just connect the third pin with the LED positive one positive side just remember the long lead of LED is positive and the short lead is negative connect that negative lead with 1k 1k register and the other point of 1k register connect with the middle section of 7805 okay here we are using 103 pico farad capacitor for filtration purpose for filtration purpose okay moving on moving on 
मूविंग ऑन कनेक्ट द पिन नंबर नाइन एंड टेन विद द क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर नाइन विद दिस एंड टेन विद दिस क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर ओके वी आर यूजिंग क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर हियर टू जनरेट क्लॉक पल्स ओके मूविंग ऑन कनेक्ट दैट पोर्शन कनेक्ट द अदर कनेक्ट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ क्रिस्टल ऑसिलेटर विद द वन ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी टू पीक ऑफ राइड कैपेसिटर ओके कनेक्ट द पिन नंबर एट ऑफ एटमेगा थ्री टू एट विथ ग्राउंड विथ मिडिल सेक्शन ऑफ सेवन एट जीरो फाइव ओके ओके मूविंग ऑन कनेक्ट द पिन नंबर सेवन ऑफ एटमेगा थ्री टू एट विथ द थर्ड पिन ऑफ सेवन एट जीरो फाइव मीन्स द पॉजिटिव फाइव वोल्ट ओके मूविंग ऑन जस्ट कनेक्ट द ऑल द कनेक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू द वायरिंग विच आई एम शोइंग यू ग्राउंड विद द वन के एंड द पिन नंबर पी सी जीरो इन आर डी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज एन आर डी नो यू कैन कनेक्ट यू कैन कनेक्ट दिस पिन टू पिन नंबर ए जीरो ओके पिन नंबर ए जीरो पिन नंबर ए जीरो ओके मूविंग ऑन जस्ट कनेक्ट द टू पॉइंट ऑफ द ट्वेंटी टू पी को फ्रेड विथ ईच अदर एंड कनेक्ट दैट विद द ग्राउंड ओके मूविंग ऑन नो वी विल कनेक्ट द ट्रिपल फाइव आई सी कनेक्शन कनेक्ट पिन नंबर फोर एंड एट विथ ईच अदर एंड पिन नंबर टू एंड सिक्स ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव आई सी विच इधर ईच अदर मूविंग ऑन कनेक्ट द नेगेटिव सेक्शन ऑफ द कैपेसिटर टन माइक्रोफेरेड हेयर विद द नेगेटिव सेक्शन एंड द पॉजिटिव सेक्शन विथ पिन नंबर टू ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव आई सी ओके कनेक्ट द पिन नंबर सिक्स विद द टेन किलो होम रजिस्टर हेयर एज यू कैन सी दैट एंड द अदर सेक्शन ऑफ टेन किलो होम रजिस्टर विद द पिन नंबर सेवन ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव आई सी ओके कनेक्ट द पिन नंबर सेवन विद अनदर टेन किलो होम रजिस्टर एंड अदर पॉइंट ऑफ दैट टेन किलो होम रजिस्टर विद द पिन नंबर एट ऑफ ट्रिपल फाइव आई सी ओके वी नीड एन अनदर टेन माइक्रोफेट कैपेसिटर फॉर अवर टी शॉप फॉर नॉइस रिडक्शन Just remember this uh, turn microfarad and this uh, register is very essential because it will reduce the noise, the uh, outer interferences noise. Just connect the connections according to the connection I'm showing to you. Okay, now it is connected. This section is this section is connected, and the pin uh, other other point of one zero three picofarad here. This uh, the downside at the triple four IC side is connected to the ground of minus twenty four volt. Okay, moving further, connect the pin number three, which is output with one K and one K with middle section of BC five four seven, which is base of base of transistor. Okay, connect the pin number the signal pin of T shop with pin number four of at mega three two eight. Pin number four means in Arduino board. it is pin number 2 okay so moving further connect the three connect the as triple 17 first point with positive oh sorry 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 connect the first pin of triple 17 ic with the negative of 24 volt oh you can connect it anywhere just ground it just connect with the negative okay and moving further the Third pin of triple one seven IC connect with the third pin of seven eight zero five means five volt, okay, and the output section the upper point the output three point three volt with the positive of this IR remote transmitter, and the negative section of remote with collector of BC five four seven because it will send a pulses. Our triple five IC connection here. is meant for a stable mode and it will generate 
एंड हाफ सेकेंड टाइमर सर्किट इट्स एन हाफ सेकेंड टाइमर सर्किट इट विल सेंड एन सिग्नल एट एवरी हाफ सेकेंड सो इट विल सेंड अ सिग्नल टू अवर बी सी फाइव फोर सेवन ट्रांजिस्टर एंड ट्रांजिस्टर विल सेंड अ नेगेटिव सिग्नल नेगेटिव सिग्नल टू अवर आई आर रिमोट एंड इट विल एक्टिवेट अवर आई आर रिमोट एट एवरी हाफ सेकेंड दिस इज बिकॉज वी कॉन्ट जस्ट कनेक्ट और जस्ट प्रेस अ स्विच ऑफ अवर रिमोट एंड इट विल ऑलवेज डिटेक्ट इट विल ऑलवेज सेंड अ सेम सिग्नल एंड डिटेक्ट we need to push it again and again at every half to 1 second in the in the, in the delay of every half to 1 second we have to push our remote continuously okay moving further just connected we are using a diode with solenoid wall to protect it from the reverse emf electromotive force to protect it from reverse emf we are using a diode here it's the same diode in 4007 okay moving further connect here you can see that i have connected a 24 volt directly with the positive of solenoid wall okay and after that uh, the remaining connection of triple 5 pin number 8 to the positive of 5 volt 705 third pin okay after that connect the pin number 1 to the ground moving on connect this 33k with one with ground one with gate and other with source moving on connect the drain of mosfet with this diode and our other pin of solenoid wall okay after that connect one pin of 5 volt port potentiometer with positive the, this section here you can see that is slightly a positive is written positive of our ir remote okay and other point the wiper pin which we are call we we call wiper pin the other pin with the positive section of ir led and the other section of ir led with the negative of our ir remote okay moving further the point here to remember is that we have to short this two point as you can see that there are two red points indicators marks i am uh, showing you they are the two points which you have to short okay connect this red 24 volt with fire with 1k resistor okay and these are the short points just remember that you have to short these two points because we we have programmed our microcontroller according to this short pins so just short this pins okay after that just use an led at the output side so that it will indicate that whenever the solenoid valve started it the led will glow okay connecting it further the other section of 1k resistor with the long lead positive of led and the other short lead negative of the led with the drain of our mosfet okay so this will synchronize this led with solenoid valve whenever we will start our system we will, our system senses any obstacle behind uh, behind it it will start the solenoid valve and it at the same time it will start the led also okay so what will happen if we we'll put any hand or any obstacle behind just see that the ir led infrared radiation will emit and strike back from our hand and go to our t shop transmit receiver circuit what will happen that led now you can see that led is glown early led glows and our solenoid valve will start for a very few second or we can say the for a micro uh, for a milliseconds we have programmed here to uh, open our solenoid valve for 250 millisecond and after that wait for 4 second okay so what will happen the sanitizer from the bottle will start pouring start coming out and a small amount of sanitizer just which is sufficient to rub our two hands come come out from the solenoid valve which is already programmed and we have calculated the time according to it and 
our system will work according to that. Now this is an 100% sunproof proximity sensor for automatic sanitizer dispenser. Now I will show you the hardware testing, the real hardware testing which we have used in the open sunlight. Okay, so just watch. Now this is the hardware video of our kit. Uh, here I will show you how it works. You will hear a clicking sound whenever I will put my hand above this sensor. Okay. As you can hear it, it will transmit and receive a code so that it will work without any interference. Now, now I will show you the real working of this project in open sunlight. As you can see that is open sunlight, sunlight incident on our sensor directly. You can hear a clicking sound whenever I will put my hand above the sensor. Okay, as you can hear it. Now this this proves that if this circuit works in the open sunlight without any interference, because it works by sending a code and receiving a code principle. Now I will show you the assembled all the components assembled and in a box I will show you the working with all the assembled components. As you can see that. Here is the transmitter and receiver and I have just put it a pipe here to outlet of our sanitizer. Just I will put my hand behind this system and the sanitizer will automatically come out. It is dark here, you can't able to see it clearly. Let me focus it. Uh, now you can see that. Now I will do it again. I will do it again and you can see it clearly. Now I am focusing my camera. Now I think you can see that, oh you can see that, now it is dropping out the sanitizer. You can download the code from the from my link below and please keep subscribe, please keep sub subscribe for our latest innovative projects, okay, thank you.